Crying is an intrinsic part of being human, and we cry for any number of reasons, whether it's due to an emotional state, feeling pain, or a physical irritation in the eye. For this particular discussion, we're going to be exploring the phenomenon of crying as a response to an emotion. Even though it's such a universal experience, we know remarkably little about the exact origin or purpose of emotional tears. Crying is an incredibly complex phenomenon, and a range of emotions from grief and anger to surprise and joy can make us cry. So, is there an explanation for why we cry when we're happy, as well as when we're sad? We create content for curious and inquiring minds, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative and enlightening discussions. Overall, several scientific theories have been proposed that attempt to explain why we started to cry emotionally and why we continue to do so. Some theories propose that crying serves a biochemical purpose because it relieves the body of stress and clears the eyes. Others claim that crying is a powerful form of nonverbal communication that we have developed and a way to show vulnerability and helplessness, solicit sympathy from those around us, as well as indicate shared social attachments. Scientifically speaking, one thing that we do know is that when we cry emotionally, the tears we produce have a different chemical composition to the ones produced when we are crying because of physical pain or eye irritation. Emotional tears generally contain greater amounts of hormones such as prolactin and adrenocorticotropic hormone, as well as the elements manganese and potassium. It's often said that people feel better once they've cried, and the reason for this could possibly be because emotional tears contain leucine and kephalin, which just happens to be a natural painkiller. We also know that crying almost always occurs as an outlet for or response to intense emotions, which explains why we cry when we're happy as well as when we're sad. Tears are produced by the lacrimal system, which is like a built-in water supply that is located beside our eyeballs. The lacrimal system functions as a secretory system which produces tears as well as an excretory system that drains them. When we're feeling a really powerful emotion, we produce tears at a greater volume than our lacrimal drainage system can handle, and the tears begin to pour down our face. Interestingly, the lacrimal system also drains into our nasal canals, which is why we also get a runny nose when we're crying. The question that inevitably arises is this. For emotional crying to happen, the emotional centers in our brain have to be connected to our lacrimal system, so how do they communicate with and influence one another? The emotional center of our brain is known as the limbic system, specifically the part of it called the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is essentially hardwired into our automatic nervous system, which we have absolutely no control over. Our automatic nervous system controls our lacrimal tear system through a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. When this neurotransmitter is released, tear production is triggered. When we experience any strong enough emotion, whether it's happiness or sadness, this is registered in the hypothalamus. As a result of this, our automatic nervous system sends out these neurotransmitters to our lacrimal system, and this is what activates the tear response. Of course, crying has traditionally been associated with more negative feelings such as sadness, grief, and anger. The reality is, however, that we are just as likely to cry when we're experiencing positive emotions, whether it's the day we get married, achieving something we've always wanted, or even when we're just watching a funny movie. The thing is, the hypothalamus is a minuscule part of the brain and it can't really differentiate between emotions of happiness and sadness. As far as the hypothalamus is concerned, it's just receiving a strong emotional neural signal that could be happening because of anything, and this is enough to trigger a series of responses that will ultimately lead to us producing emotional tears. Whilst the origin and purpose of emotional crying is still ambiguous, we do understand the physiological processes that connect the emotional centers of our brain to our lacrimal tear drainage system. At the end of the day, the hypothalamus inside the limbic system of our brain only knows that we're experiencing a strong emotional response, and it can't tell the difference between whether we're feeling happy or sad. And while we may not know why we cry in response to intense emotions, we do know that it certainly feels therapeutic and liberating, whatever the reason may be. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel for even more content like this.